Why did you try and assassinate our Lord? It is the tendency of the victor to rest on his laurels after a battle is won. I simply saw an opening for our side and exploited it. Cao Cao is nervous in regards to his upcoming showdown with Yuan Shao, no? As such, he immediately accepted our surrender, surprisingly so, in fact. I never thought that I'd be able to take advantage of the situation to overcome such insurmountable odds. Of course, it mattered not in the end. Yes. It was only thanks to the efforts of Master Dian Wei that Master Cao Cao was able to escape. However, things could have easily gone quite differently. Where's Dion Wei? He is at peace now. Master Cao Cao, I will resist you no longer. You have bested us. I am ready to meet my fate, whatever you may deem it to be. In that case, Jia Xu, I want you to join me. W wait a minute, my lord! You're planning to let him live? Even after all he's done? If anybody should be punished, it should be me for falling victim to this trap and losing Dian Wei. Jia Xu's talent as a strategist, the skill of Zheng Zhou's men to execute the plot. In my opinion, that is something to be rewarded, not punished. Jia Xu, is it possible that you foresaw this very outcome? <laughs> I wonder. At any rate, I appreciate your rather generous punishment, Master Cao Cao. Guojia, I want you and Shun Yo to keep an eye on Jia Xu, at least for a while. I may covet his talent, but that does not mean we can trust him yet. I must do all that I can to quickly subdue the Central Plains and prepare for Yuan Shao's move south. Our next step is to advance on Shu Province and capture Xia Pi. That means we must face Lu Bu himself. Everyone, begin making the necessary preparations. Uh, I'm sorry, Dian Wei. If only I'd been there, we could have prevented all this. Shu Zhu, you can't blame yourself for this. You simply followed your orders out there. No, the responsibility for this falls squarely on my shoulders. Do you suppose Dian Wei would approve of me turning Jia Xu to our side? Lord Cao Cao. Dian Wei was not the type to hold a grudge. Cao Cao, I imagine you know that better than anybody. Yeah, he's right. I'm sure he's smiling to think it's just the type of move you'd make. Although, I imagine he must be a bit lonely right now. My lord, what do you say we raise a toast in his honor? Indeed. Tonight, let us celebrate Dian Wei's life as we mourn his death. Master Cao Cao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiaopei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. 
Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Ishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. I must return to Xiao Pei with all haste. Excuse me! It must have been difficult for him to break through Lu Bu's siege, let alone make it all the way here. Yet now, he looks to do it all over again for his master's sake. He uses his considerable might to fight for what he believes to be just. He is truly worthy of the moniker, God of War. Huh. It was his actions that led to Lu Bu's rise in the first place. That's rather bitter of you, Shahodun. Although I feel I could utilize him properly if he were under my employ. Don't you agree? You're still hanging on to that dream? He will never leave Liu Bei's side. You heard him yourself. No. I suppose not. However, it is clear that the lowly Liu Bei does not deserve a warrior such as Guan Yu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guo Jia and I will be successful. A flood attack? Guo Jia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone! This is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good! Enemy forces have infiltrated the castle. Master yeah. Lubu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stop on whoever I see. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Yeah. Yeah. You are 
Earth, you're alone? Alone? You must not realize who you are facing. So Shoppy is to be the place where my dreams are ending. It is most vexing to watch one's vision clouded by violence and stupidity. Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. Your talents have kept us alive thus far. For me, you are powerless. Let me go! You impudent maggots! How dare you place ropes on the mighty Lu Bu! Truly amazing, my lord. You are the only one capable of unifying this land. You rely on sheer might, without shunning intellect and cunning. That is what led to your downfall, Boo Boo. Yeah. can't believe I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lubu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Tsao Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh, Farewell, Lu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh, Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such praise. But my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There is still a possibility that we may be able to use him. Even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, you and Xiao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, it is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we still have the chance. Indeed, Guo Jia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao.
My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Cao Cao. This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Sha Pi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guo Jia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! So, see you! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I need to meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. Young Ho! Handle this. Yeah. So, see! Liu Bei's forces are peasants. Yeah. Nothing more. None yeah. of them can match me. I got too carried away. What? This is the end? How did I fail so badly in my duty? Yeah. Power! Oh. No mercy! You're Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Yeah. Wow, you're really fighting hard, aren't you? Ji Ling has been defeated. Our alliance with Yu and Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid? Then we surely can't expect to win either.
We shall defend this position. Do not allow yeah. a single enemy through. This place belongs to us. We will not give it up for anyone. Yeah. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. You're a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Can't hold back the enemy now! I'm gonna yeah. run for it! There is no greater so, disgrace hey. than to flee before the enemy. It is time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Home for me! You are powerless. Jian Ye has fallen. Why did I have to live to see this day? Yeah. And stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Your skills. You're definitely special. Liu Bei and his men. How I loathe them. Sweep them aside. Report! Lord Yuan Yin has been defeated! Jian Ye has fallen to Sun Tse's forces. Ugh. The enemy is coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. Don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. So, how dare you raise your blades against me? I am your emperor. Someone slay these perfidious yeah. fools. See? Yeah. This is our chance to push the enemy lines back. Follow me. Thank you. to endure such an outrage here. See! You are still pathetic, even after calling yourself Emperor. You will never have what it takes to rule this land. Astonishing. You are yeah. truly a sight to behold. My lord, Yuan Shao has defeated Gong Sun San in battle. I have conquered the Central Plains, and now Yuan Shao has control of Hebei. We may have no greater opportunity than the present. 
It seems the time for our inevitable showdown has finally arrived. Yes. Yuan Xiao may outnumber us on paper, but I have faith in the superior talent of my men. We shall return to Xuchang. We must begin making preparations for this final battle. Yuan Shu has been slain. Now we can turn our attention to Yuan Xiao. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. It seems like I don't have much time left. However, I just need to hang on for a little bit longer. That cough. I knew it. You're... Hey, what's with the scary look on your face? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Master Guo Jia. Ha! I guess you're a little too smart to fall for that line. Master Shunyo, your supposition is correct. However, I ask that you please keep this between us. My time here is limited. That is why I must see this through to the end. I would appreciate it if you could allow me to realize this one final wish. I understand. If that is your wish, Master Guo Jia. Thank you. I knew that I could count on you. Now, just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Cheng. Hmm. What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. What? Dong Cheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land that, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere, either. Take him away! Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. 
However, Liu Bei has already fled Xuchong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiaopei. Hm, he truly is a small man, in both size and ambition. Cao Cao, see how they repay your kindness? If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again in the future. You must eliminate them now, while we still can. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Chao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much larger game. We can deal with him when we face Yuan Chao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer, Master Cao Cao. Hmm. Xiao Dun, Shun Yu, there is merit to what both of you are saying. Do I chase after Liu Bei, or do I make preparations to face Yuan Shao? I must give the matter some thought. Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fallen, as have Bai Ma and Ian Jing. That means that Bu Yang has been isolated. I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jian Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So, should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup our forces? No, it will not be easy for Sun Se to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiang Dong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate surroundings to make a move now. Mm. What do you think, Master Shunyo? Care to share your wisdom on the matter? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's positions at Baima and Yanjin. Baima and Yanjing are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although, they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, their units are woefully undermanned. We should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces will strike the enemy and create a path to victory. I have made my decision. Shunyo, we will put our destiny in your hands. Reform the units and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else, I want you to rendezvous at Bai Ma and Yanjin. We need to Yes. And then eliminate Yuan Shao. We can overcome our inferior numbers through intellect and bravery. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Now is the hour when we must settle this feud with Cao Cao. Our target is the enemy main camp in Guandu Castle. All forces, advance! It is time to begin the siege of Guandu Castle. Siege unit, show this land just how mighty we are! Cao Cao certainly knows how to... Struggle feebly on. Call in reinforcements and crush the enemy! Reporting! Reinforcements have arrived from the midpoint base! Excellent! This makes our formation... Oh, <laughs> 
more unshakable than ever. Come, warriors of the nobility! It is time to crush our enemy! See! See you! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! See! See! You are amazing, Uncle. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Allow me to test your resolve. Yeah. Our yeah. target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. This victory has opened a path forward for our Lord. My only regret yeah. is that I will not live to see where it leads. Long live Lord Cao Cao! Lord Cao Cao, hooray! This victory alone is not enough to end the chaos. We must seek out and punish all who oppose us. Easy, Eugene. We have defeated our greatest enemy in Yuan Shao. Allow the men to rest and celebrate for at least a day. Yes, my lord. As you command. Hmm. Everybody, listen up. We have defeated Yuan Shao to become the single largest force in the land. We are ready to begin our quest to unite the land. However, the fight to come will be nothing like we've ever seen before. Hard and fraught with peril. However,